Okay, here's a real easy way to think about the difference between Medicare supplements and Medicare Advantage plans. Draw a line down the middle here. On both sides, you're going to have you. And on both sides, you're going to have Medicare. We'll call this the meta gap side, and we'll call this the Medicare Advantage side. And this is also known as Part C. And this one here is also known as Medicare Supplement. All right, now that you're thoroughly confused with all the lingo, back to each scenario and the differences and similarities. So on the left-hand side, here's you, here's Medicare, and then you have the Medicare supplement company. In this scenario, you have to have Medicare A and B. So you have to pay for A and B to get in the game. Guess what? Same deal over here. So far, identical. And on this side, Medicare supplement, you also have to pay the Medicare supplement premium, whatever amount that is. Biggest point here to remember is that in most states, the same plan letter with any company is going to give you the exact same benefits. It doesn't matter what company you're with, they're all going to give you the same exact benefits on that supplement plan. So if you have plan G with one company or any of the other companies, your benefits are going to be identical. So in this scenario, Medicare is your primary coverage. That means the doctors, hospitals, providers, they're going to bill Medicare first. Medicare then is going to pay whatever part they pay, and they're going to forward that bill to the Medicare supplement company, which is your secondary coverage. And on this side, you have typically no referrals, no networks. And I said typically because back in 04 when I started, none of the Medigap plans had any kind of copay. And I used to be able to say no copays. However, there's now a copay on Plan N, real small copay for the doctor. Uh, but you get the point. For the most part, it's still the same. Another main point to understand is that these are what's called guaranteed renewable, which means they can't drop you unless you decide to stop paying the insurance company your monthly premium. Uh, they some For some reason, they want to keep getting that money from you. Okay, But besides that, this means you can go anywhere in the country that Medicare is accepted and you won't have to worry about getting a referral or copays or deductibles other than Medicare's Part B deductible, but that's standard across the board for all Medigap plans. After 2020, you have to pay the Part B deductible no matter what unless you were grandfathered into the Plan F, which used to pay it for you. And even back then, that was a bad deal. You want to know more about it? Give me a buzz. I'll, I'll explain it in detail. So that's the scenario on the Medicare supplement side. Medicare's primary, supplement is secondary. Let's take a look at the other side. So here you are. You're paying for Medicare A and B. You have Medicare. And then in this circle, we'll put the Medicare Advantage plan. And these may or may not come with prescription drugs. Either way, it works the same. So we could say MA or MA slash PD, but it doesn't really matter for our illustration here. We'll just keep it simple and say MA. So in this scenario, you pay Medicare. You also may pay the Medicare Advantage plan. And you may not, 
there are some of these are zero dollar premium. Why do I say zero dollar premium instead of free? Well, they're not free. That just means your premium is zero. Don't get confused. But in this scenario, well, let me back up. Some of them are not zero dollar premium. They're more than zero dollars and uh, sometimes quite a bit more. But in this scenario, what happens is Medicare also pays the Medicare Advantage company a set amount per person. Okay, and then Medicare says, hey, we are done. We've satisfied our obligation. Do not bill us anymore. And so what happens effectively is Medicare is out of the picture because they've already paid for someone else to take care of you. And that someone else is the Medicare Advantage company. Now, these are the kind of plans that you will typically have referrals. There's definitely going to be networks. Uh, if you're familiar with HMOs and PPOs, uh, your HMO may be a little bit smaller network than a PPO. Either way, there's still networks that you have to stay inside. Otherwise, you either have to pay a whole lot more or you have no coverage unless it's an emergency. And this is a problem for a lot of people. It makes it hard to understand it, hard to find the best providers or get your current providers to accept a plan. If you want to switch to a different plan, if you like your doctor, that's going to be a challenge. You're going to have co-pays for all kinds of different services. And there's a really long list. The plans on this side are standardized. And so if you understand how Plan G works, then you understand how every Plan G works. The difference with these Advantage plans is they're not standardized. They have to provide a minimum level of benefit to what Medicare by itself would provide, but they're not standardized. So in order to shop and compare these plans, you really have to look line by line by line at all the different benefits to see what are the co-pays and what are my costs and what services exactly are being provided. Now, that being said, these Medicare Advantage plans will often provide extra services above and beyond original Medicare. For example, if you've seen the TV commercials, there will sometimes be dental, vision, uh, even transportation to a certain number of medical appointments each year. A lot of them will offer even over-the-counter benefits where you'll get a catalog and you'll be able to choose, you know, aspirins and different over-the-counter type items that the, the plan will give you money towards. So these will sound really good on the TV commercials. That's what the majority of the TV commercials you're going to see, especially during the annual enrollment season. It's a lot to do with the Medicare Advantage type plans. It doesn't make them better or worse. Uh, the only other thing to really keep in mind is that these contracts between Medicare and the Medicare Advantage plan are annual contracts, and they don't always get renewed between these two parties. And what that means is if it doesn't get reviewed, renewed, that they can drop you. That would be a special enrollment period. You would have to you would have the opportunity to shop for another plan with the excuse that, hey, my plan dropped me, which means you would be allowed to apply for a different plan. But now you have to look for new doctors again, potentially. And if you're in certain areas with limited plan options, that can be a real pain. Or if you're getting 
some sort of follow-up because maybe you had surgery, maybe, God forbid, you had some cancer and they want to keep seeing you. Uh, it's kind of tough to leave the doctors and start all over for lots of reasons. You trust them, you like them. It's a toughie. Here's another thing you want to consider why one of these advantage plans may be a disadvantage plan if a company is bringing in less income than they're paying out what happens to that company a company that's paying out more than they're bringing in they're going to go out of business and if you've ever seen or and if you've ever seen a, a medicare advantage plan stop offering coverage in a certain zip code or certain area, oftentimes that's because people will sign up for these plans. And by the way, the Medicare Advantage plans, there's no health questions. On the supplement side, there's no health questions if you're in your open enrollment period or initial enrollment period when you're first getting onto Medicare. But after that, there are health questions. And that's what makes it nice about this feature here. They can't drop you. When you're accepted, it doesn't matter what happens to your health after you're in. It only matters if you're going to change your supplement plan to a different supplement company. Then you're going to have to answer all the health questions and provide your medications to qualify for that coverage. On the Advantage side, there are no health questions. That means that that's good news, right? For people who have health issues, that means you can get coverage. But if we're just looking at strictly a financial point of view, well, this Medicare Advantage plan is bringing in a set amount of money from Medicare. Medicare is not gonna pay them more and you're paying a set amount of money or zero so if a lot of people in this plan start getting sick and the company has to pay out more than they're bringing in, that company might just say, hey, we're not making money here, so we're out. We're out of this area. And then you get a letter that says, oh, we're no longer providing coverage. Thank you uh, for paying us and being with us while you were with us. But you have to go find somebody else. If that happens, give me a call. It doesn't mean uh, they will drop you. It's just pointing out the differences. Let's do a, a quick recap. On the left, your Medigap and Medicare supplement. Medicare is your primary. Bills go to Medicare first, then to the supplement company, which is secondary. They pick up what's left over based on which plan you have. There's typically no referrals, no copies, no networks, and they can't drop you. On the right side, Part C, Medicare Advantage, may come with or without prescription coverage built right in. Usually offer some extra services, dental, vision, transportation. Sounds great on TV. Not always the best dental vision coverage, but who wouldn't want some extra benefits nonetheless? You will deal with referrals, networks, co-pays. They can drop you. Don't get sucked in by the television. I don't know about you, but I don't get any news from the television. It's completely unreliable 100% of the time. Prove me wrong. Same thing goes for health insurance. Why would you trust the television for your health insurance? You know they're trying to sell you things. It's like, why do we need commercials for drugs? Doesn't your doctor know what the right drugs are that you need? Don't listen to the TV for Pete's sakes. I mean, hey, it's a great tool for entertainment. I watch many, many shows at the end of the night, but man, this is your health insurance. Give me a call. I'll straighten you out. Hopefully you appreciated this uh, quick and dirty overview. Man, look at that chicken scratch. Give me a call. Download some of the great resources I have. You can get a no obligation appointment when you talk with me and I'll see if there's any way to help you get in a better position. <music>